The TinkerPie robot is a modular learning platform that can be configured to run with any of the open source microcontrollers such as Arduino, Raspberry Pi, and as we'll be doing in this tutorial, the microbit. The caster, or third wheel, is attached to the bottom. Next, we'll attach the motors. There are four brackets and two screws that hold the motors on. Feed the wires up through the bottom layer. The bridges hold the top layer to the bottom layer. Snap the bridges into the base layer, then use the screws. The colored and black top pieces fit together and are screwed using the centered holes. Snap the black tires into the colored wheels. It works best if you start at the bottom and work your way up. Insert the hubs into the wheels. Be sure to insert the hub through the more decorative side, not the flat side. Next, insert the wheels into the motors. Screw them on. Attach the motor board snap, which will allow you to snap the motor board into the robot. Snap the motor board onto the top layer of the robot. Open the battery holder and insert the batteries. Place the battery holder on the first layer of the robot. Run the battery wires up through the slot on the same side as the motor board power terminals. Plug red into positive and black into negative and screw them down. Next, place the face of the microbit case onto the microbit. Snap it onto the back with TinkerPie.com toward the bottom of the microbit. Plug the microbit into the motor board. Run the motor wires up through the top layer and screw them into the motor 1 and motor 2 terminals. They should be ordered red, black, black, red as shown. If you get them mixed up, don't worry, you won't hurt anything. Your wheels will just turn the opposite way. Put the second microbit in its case. This one will be the remote control. Now we're all ready to start programming.